People often ask if a marionette is a puppet, and the answer, of course, is yes. They're just puppets with strings. The puppeteers work from above, as you can see, on platforms we call bridges. While making Davy Jones' locker, we had as many as eight puppeteers operating at any one time. Well, now you can see how we did the water. A very thin material known as China silk and a couple of fans blowing from underneath. Some of the best effects are not always high tech. The picture is shot to what is called playback. The soundtrack is recorded first and the puppeteers work to what they're hearing. I'm Barnacle the Buccaneer from the time the sun has arisen. I work to see the riggins reap to the visit. We keep the camera moving as much as possible. Marionettes are wonderful, you know, but they really can't do a whole lot for themselves. One of the things you have to help them with is a sense of flow and movement. The camera goes a long way in making that possible and becomes as much a character in a way as the characters themselves. That fellow on the left there is our assistant cameraman, and he makes sure everything is in focus. Now this is called a subjective shot, where the camera booms up and takes Joey's point of view. The camera here, in a sense, is Joey. The underwater effect is created by a translucent screen lit from behind, and the ship's hull is actually a small model glued to the screen. Even that point of view shot where Joey goes down to Davy's place, well, that's a model, no bigger than a bread box. And that's Peter Baird manipulating our miniature pirate ship with a magnet. The model here is only three and a half inches long. Did you unplug the coffee maker? I don't know. But you don't know if you did or not? I'm not sure, did you? Well, why don't you know? You I'm asking know. you a simple I question. Plugged it in. I plugged it in. You'll notice that Davy seahorses are marionettes that are being manipulated from below as well as above. In this scene, we had a total of five puppeteers operating. Now give my horses a drink. And watch out. The last time you dented the sh in the front. So get them up to the corner of the frame and then take them out. That TV monitor I'm looking at as we're shooting the scene shows me exactly what the camera is filming. That's known as a video tap. And that's what's known as a very frustrated director. You'll notice the puppeteers have to watch what's going on below and at the same time watch what the camera is filming. Their eyes have to be in two places at one time. It's a tricky business. And again, that camera moving back adds motion to a static scene. The woman sitting on my left is our script supervisor. Now, she keeps track of all the shots we've done and the ones that remain. She also has to remember where the characters were standing, who was doing what, what they were wearing, what they were holding, who was looking at who. It helps to have a great memory, especially since the scenes are filmed out of sequence. The one thing about puppets, you know, they don't remember anything. If you're wondering why we have Davy walking on boxes, it's to raise him up. That's so we can see the wall hangings behind him. And there's Mr. Jones getting himself lit. That black card is known as a flag, and flags are used to block light or direct light to specific areas. No, this is not Gulliver's Travels. That's Peter adjusting a string on one of the dancing books. In fact, the sets, the props, are not only built to scale with the marionettes in mind, even the walls of the sets, as you can see here, are easily removable. And that's how the camera can actually get into the pirate's cabin and boom up behind the character, or even get closer to a character. You have to create an atmosphere in order to light one. So we used a smoke machine. And that helped give the library a warm, magical glow. We generally rehearse and block a scene before we shoot it. Here's Davy and Joey and the puppeteers going through their paces. And there's a director who's telling his actors to go back and do it again. A book? Just a book? Just a book! This is a magic carpet to take you wherever you want to go. It's a tool. Roll sound. Our piano player, Slugger Ryan, is actually a raw tuck, and he takes two puppeteers to operate from underneath. While watching the monitor, one puppeteer manipulates the hands and arms, while the other animates his body and mouth. You know, I have to admit, Slugger is my favorite Barrett puppet, and has been since my childhood. I have a feeling you'll be seeing him again. It's Mr. Davy Jones.